Hey guys, how are y'all? It's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and we're just gonna give it a few seconds for some people to hop on. And I didn't even put my apron on, but it'll be okay. So we're just gonna wait a couple of seconds. There's some people hopping on. Hey guys, say hey once you get on. Hope y'all are doing okay tonight. I didn't even put my apron on. Hey Lori. Hey Frida. Hey Sharice. Hey Kimberly. I just totally forgot my apron, y'all can see. <laughs> but uh, it'll be okay. Hopefully I won't get anything on my shirt. Hey Kathy. Hey Paige. Hey Diane. And Kaylee. All my friends. Oh, you're sweet, Kathy. Hey, Martha. Y'all doing okay tonight, I hope? I feel out of sorts. I've been running around with my... I feel like I hair, my hair's on fire. <laughs> Tracy and Graham. Hey. Hey, Tammy. So, we're just going to give it a minute. I've been doing a little prep work. Um, ahead of time. Because I know y'all didn't want to sit here and watch me paint. And paint dry. Hey, April from Kentucky, and Shannon from North Carolina. I even got my rings on. I don't normally paint in my rings, but hey, hey, Kathy. We got a bunch of Kathys. Hey, Colin. Today was first, Colin's first day at work today. Yay! Said he had a good day. Hey, Martha and Susan. Thank you for sprinkling, guys. And Billy from Tupelo. Hey, Kimberly, good evening. Hey, Wanda, Nancy. All right, guys. So, the lantern I did the other night, that's right up here, was um, y'all loved it so much. So, I'm going to do a little different lantern because I've had people message me. Hey, Sylvia. I've had people message me and ask me about the lantern and where they could get the lantern and all this kind of stuff. And they're having a hard time finding it at Dollar General. Hey, Pam, thank you for sprinkling, and Kathy. Um, so, tonight, we are going to kind of make our own lantern, and I'm going to show you how we're going to do this. Um, hey, hey, Annie from Pennsylvania, and Shannon, and Kim, thank you for sprinkling. Hey, Patty. Okay, so, like I said, I've already done a little prep work, um, so I could kind of not be as long. <laughs> hey, Rosemary. Thank y'all for sprinkling. Oh, that's sweet, Kaylee. Okay, so I know that y'all have all seen these these boxes. I know they have them right now in the Dollar Tree. I got these recently, um, but they put these boxes out um, a good, hey, Karen, I, they put these out all the time at Dollar Tree for different, uh, the seasons and different holidays and what have you, but they're these little, shadow box, wood box, whatever you call them. I really like this one. Um, but I always get them and, you know, I'll get a couple here, a couple there, um, just because I know that I'm going to do something with them. Hey, Angela and Charlotte. Hey, hey, Wanda. Anyway, and so I get them for different things. So we're going to take these and this is a little bitty one. They have these for other things too. I actually think this one came, it's got a Target dollar spot dollar tag in it. Um, but they have small ones like this too at the Dollar Tree. So we're gonna take one of these small ones and we're gonna take these, these bigger ones and we're going to make a lantern out of them. Um, you may have seen this done, um, but you might not have quite seen it quite how I'm gonna do it. So we're going, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do it. So I've already taken two of these um, and I've already prepped them and painted them a little bit. I wanted to paint them white because, um, the paint that I want to use is not going to cover. Hey, Deidre and Janet. Um, hey, Tina and Candy. The, the, um, the paint that I want to use is not going to cover, like, whatever's on the front. Because some of their, some of the Dollar Tree ones come, let me show you, hold on. Some of them come like this. Okay, with just a plain back. And then some of them come with something on the front, like this. I know y'all have all seen them. Hey, Judy from California. Hey, Janie. Oh, thank you. It's, 
I got this shirt at, um, I'm trying to think, uh, the Vanity Fair outlet. We have like Tanger outlet malls in South Haven. Hey, Dana. And it's actually a Wrangler shirt, but y'all could not resist that little van. I thought it was so cute. I totally forgot to put my apron on. Hope I don't get anything on my new shirt because I've only worn this like twice, but I totally forgot to put my apron on, but it'll be okay. Um, so I've already prepped this because these two actually had something on the front like this. This one was a Valentine one and it had a heart right here and I just popped the heart off and then I just gave it a coat of white uh, chalk paint. And then this one was actually um, St. Patrick's Day. It was green. It had green glitter and stuff and I sanded it off. And I haven't painted the inside because I'm going to do that with y'all. So I wanted to give it a cut good base coat, sort of, because the paint I want to paint it with is not going to take on this stuff, on that, the green that was on here. Because I tried it first and the green did not work. So I just painted it with white chalk paint because I knew that I have a good base. Hey, Deidre, is that my watermelon gnome? Yes. Did y'all not see him? Isn't he cute? He's going on my tiered tray after July 4th. Yes, I'm a small watermelon gnome. Um, and the watermelon stuff that we did on the live. Um, but that'll go on my tiered tray after July 4th. Um, thank you, Judy. I got it at the Vanity Fair outlet. I mean, it was only like $5 or something, but it's got Wrangler on it. But I totally didn't care because I loved the little van. I thought it was so stinking cute. Um, but I forgot my apron, so it'd be all right. So anyway, so I'm going to um, finish painting this white with, while I'm talking to you and um, catch up with y'all what y'all are doing. You need to make a watermelon one. Yes, Kayla, you need to, to put on your tear tray with all your watermelon stuff. He's adorable. Yeah, I know. He's so stinking cute. And once you start making them, this is just white Waverly paint. Y'all know that's what I like to use. That's my staple that I go to and I'm just going to kind of give, just go in here and just paint, paint, paint and give it a good base coat. Um, but yeah, that's the actual gnome that I made live and you know, I had to wait for him to dry. So I, um, uh, after he dried, I paint him like watermelon because I want to put him on my tiered tray for, um, here, I'll just set him out here so y'all can see him. Um, for summer. So that's my little watermelon gnome. But you know, I, I made him live and then I had one that I actually um, painted with y'all live that was already dry because it takes like a day or so to dry. Hey, Vaughn. Hey, Lori. So I'm just giving this a white coat. These are just the boxes from Dollar Tree. Um, we're going to make a lantern since everybody loved the lantern I did the other night that I found at Dollar General, and I have people messaging me saying, oh, I can't find the lantern. Um, and uh, which, where'd you go to get it and all this? And I haven't even looked on the website to see if you can get one. I made a tall one, going to paint him. I like it, you're new. Oh, that's cute. Watermelon, no, it's adorable. Yes, he is, I think he's cute too. Um, but he's going on my, my tear tray because I have a little watermelon theme going on. A lot of lemons is real popular right now, and I just like watermelons. You need to sell the gnomes, not painted for all of us people who can't make our own. Oh, you're so funny. <laughs> it takes so long to make them. Let's see. Had a buy watermelon tonight and a frozen pizza, chips, and salsa. Can't wait to eat. Oh, that sounds good to me. Hey, I'm not all about, I'm all about some frozen pizza. And I'll tell y'all a little tip, too, if you don't already know. Um at Walmart about frozen pizza. My husband and I found that it's a, it's the great value brand and they have thin crust pizza and it's just the great value. I think, no, it's not great value. It's Sam's choice at Walmart. Their little thin pizzas are so good. Um, and, and my husband's kind of a, if he's listening, but he's kind of a pizza snob. He only likes certain kind of pizza. Um, I like all kinds of pizza. I mean, I, I'll eat pizza, you know. Um, and so, if you haven't tried the little, it's Sam's Choice, I think, and they're thin crust. They have the rising crust, too, but we like the thin. 
And um, they have like a pepperoni and they have a sausage and pepperoni. They have like three or four different varieties. And they are so, um, they're so good. If y'all haven't tried them, they taste like thin crust pizza from Pizza Place. But, you know, some, some, some frozen pizza is not good, but that one's really good. So let me just finish coating this one and let it, we'll sit it over here and let it dry. So I've got this one painted all the way around. I just painted it white because, um, if you didn't hear me say, um, uh, it, the paint that I want to use won't cover this well. And I know that the chalk paint will. So I just went ahead and painted them white. And I actually started trying to paint a little bit to see what it's going to look like, what we're going to do. So let me get, um, so I just did one coat and you can still see it says, uh, bless your heart is what it said. It was for Valentine's day. So I, um, you can still see through the paint, but what I'm going to do to it, you're not going to be too worried about being able to see through the paint that it's, um, that it's not covered well. So it'll be okay. Even when pizza is bad, it's still pretty good. <laughs> Judy, I'm like that too, but my husband is a pizza snob. And he's like, I like pizza from here, but I don't like pizza from there. And, you know, he's he's funny. So, like, you know, if we get Domino's or, or uh, Little Caesars or um, Papa John's or Pizza Hut, you know, he, he has his little opinions about, I don't like this, but I like that. And so... You just have to let him be. He has his own little... I'm like, I like it from all those places. So, it doesn't bother me. We got the pizza from the deli area. The market brand, Walmart. Yeah, those are good. The kind you cook yourself. Hey, Danica. Hey, Joanne from Kentucky. Okay. So, what we're going to do is... I've already got two done because I wanted to go ahead and prep them first. Because I wanted to... I didn't want it to take all night. So, I just kind of... Hey, Terry. Can see you too. Um... So I did two already, okay? So let me show you what I did. I've got these two already done. So I took, these are the bamboo, skew, bamboo skewers. Why is that so hard to say? Can I see your little slice of watermelon? Like, there's the gnome. And then, see, Billy, you like Papa John's. So my husband loves Papa John's. Like this watermelon up here, these watermelons, this one don't have the stripes on it, but my eggs that I painted like watermelon, and then Colin cut that one in half and, and painted it like a watermelon, but I still haven't put stripes on it. I totally forgot. So yeah, that's they're just little styrofoam eggs from Hobby Lobby that were, I had left over from Easter actually, but they had all their stuff stuff off. Oh, you got some syrup bottles, Lori? Awesome. Yes, Dana, his first day was really good. Um, I talked to him right before I went live and he had an awesome day. So, um, I'm excited for him. He's like, you know, as we said this weekend, he's like on the tier two of adulthood. Now he's out of college. He's been living on his own at college, but now he's got a big job and, you know, he's, um, paying the bills, making the money, paying the bills now. So he's like tier two adulthood now. So he's good living on his own in his apartment and he's good. Mama got him all set up and Craig went over there and moved him and he's all good. So, um, anyway, so I got my boxes prepped and I'm, I'm sitting here, um, while that other one's drying, I'm going to, we're going to make, these are actually going to be the, the arms of the lantern. Um, so we're going to, we're going to fix that up. Let me make sure I didn't lose any beads. So I got two that I've already done and I've got two that I haven't done and I'm going to show you how I did them. What does it have eggs from Easter? Yes, do your eggs like watermelons? Okay, so all I did was this is the little bamboo skew skewers. Why is that so hard to say? I can't even get it out. <laughs> These are the bamboo skewers from Dollar Tree, and um, I loaded up this. These are the 20 millimeter wood beads. I get them, I buy them off Amazon and I buy them like 200 at a time. Because I do a lot of stuff with beads. I love my um, my beaded garland that I make. I make that for pretty much every season. So I keep these beads all the time. Yes, Dana. Dana, his, good, his job was, it was good today. So he had a good job. I mean, he had a good day and all that good stuff. So hopefully he's going to like it. I love that you've got one tier and two, two and two. Tier two and one to go. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I guess tier three is when you are 
your parents aren't with you anymore and you're the tier three, I guess. I'm at tier three because <clears throat> I don't have my parents with me. They're passed on. So I'm at tier three. <laughs> okay, Deidre, I will. Hey, Dusty. Okay, so I just loaded this up and I want to say... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I thought I had fourteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There's thirteen on each one. So what I did was I've already done these two. Okay. So I took I'm gonna show you though. I'm just making sure I got the same amount on all of them because I felt like I lost a bead. But anyway, so these are done. I painted them already. And that's what we're about to do now while this is over here drying. So, um, thank you for sprinkling 13 beads per skewer. I'm going to say that right. Now they're all coming off. So, but we got a trick because we're going to keep them all on there. Make sure I've lost a couple. So they keep coming off my skewers like that. Okay. So I'm going to take my glue gun. All right. And let me show y'all something really quick. So what I'm going to do, this is, I grabbed the wet one, of course. Um, trying to keep from getting it on my shirt because I didn't put my apron on. Okay, so you got your skewer, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to actually put these down in the corner of each of each corner, and that's going to be our little arms of our lantern. Um, so I'm, I left enough room on each end of the skewer to be able to stick down into the box to where that's flush, okay? So that's how I came up with how many I had. So, um, I hate, I'm ready to see what it looks like too, Dana. Believe it or not, I've had these beads on these skewers for probably, uh, probably about a month. I've had it sitting over here because it was something I was going to do live. I just hadn't gotten to it yet. And I was kind of nervous how it's going to turn out. So, I was just kind of like, well, if we're just going to do that tonight because it's been sitting over here ready to go. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm just going to put a bead, a bead of glue around my skewer right there. So when it dries or hardens or whatever you want to say, it's going to actually hold my beads there. Weather's been really bad. Didn't send you any pictures. I sent some when the weather, okay. You got some pictures of some stuff. I got to figure out how to open up my community page and open up a community because so many of y'all send pictures and I would just love for y'all to share those with everybody. I don't know if I have to have so many followers or what, hey Melinda. Thank you. I, I didn't put my apron on, so y'all get to see my shirt. I'm a t-shirt girl. I wear t-shirts. That's all I wear, just about it. So I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. And that's what's going to hold our beads on, okay? It's going to make them easier to paint, too, because they're not all going all up and down, okay? So I'm waiting for that to harden. And I'm going to do the same thing to this one. Because like I said, hey, Carol, I've already done it to these. Okay, so like I said, I didn't want us to be here all night, so I went ahead and did a little prep work. So I got, there's 13 on there, but like I said, I just left enough room for us to be able to stick it down into the corner of our box, okay? So I'm just trying to show y'all another way to make a lantern since everybody, um, oh, Kim, good, you already have all the supplies, awesome. I know what you'll be doing tonight. <laughs> So I'm just um, putting a bead of glue, getting all the strings off. This Gorilla Glue is really stringy. Did some crafting today. I've done a little crafting because I, pre I prepped a little bit before we went live. and um, But yeah, I had to work, so I didn't get to. So I'm just putting some glue there on the skewer and all that just so it will hold my beads on. Hey, Brenda. So I'm just setting them down and let that get good and hard, okay? Whew, that's not all the way hard yet. That message was for Dana. Okay, I need beads. Well, Kathy, I can post a link for you when I get off because I buy them like two or 300 at a time from Amazon. They come in a bag, a couple of big bags like this because I use them so much. And, um, oh, you're coming back from Chattanooga, Brenda. That was I saw those pictures. That was nice. Okay, so... Now what we're going to do, we're going to get them brown like this, okay? So I'm going to kind of use my, um, I guess my, I call it my muddy water, muddy water technique. 
So I got me a piece of styrofoam. When we get packaged and stuff with styrofoam, I save the styrofoam or you could use floral foam, whatever you have. But this is how I am gonna be able to hold it while it dries, okay? So where's my paintbrush? Here, I just got a one of my favorite Five Below paintbrushes. I love them. Hey, Julie. So I've got a little water and you can see I've already started. This is my little cups that I saved from my, um, I've told y'all this before, the cinnamon rolls, when my family cooked cinnamon rolls for all these boys in my house, um, everybody knows we save these little, these little uh, cups where the icing comes in. We wash them and save them and I use them to mix paint and stuff. Um, thank you, Cherise, whoever, I don't know who you're talking to. Somebody must be new. <clears throat> so anyway, so I went ahead and put a little water in there already because I had already um, painted those other ones and I just added a little more paint and a little more water. Thank you for sprinkling. Oh, it can't, they are 20 millimeter wood beads. And Amazon is the best place. You can get some at um, Hobby Lobby when you can find them because everybody else is doing stuff with them too. So it's hard to find them. And they do put them on sale. And But I get mine off Amazon because like I said, I buy so many at one time because I do tons of stuff with them, as y'all can tell. <laughs> Saving your detergent cups. So that's a good idea, Kaylee, the detergent cups. Um, so basically, I'm just going to, I got my muddy water, as y'all can see, is what I call it. It is um, burnt, traditional burnt umber. Um, they, I think they make that in all the paint lines. They call it burnt umber. Um, and I put a little water in it. So I'm kind of making a stain. Now, this does get messy. So let me, um, I, I get messy. So y'all may not get messy, but I get messy. And I'm hoping I don't get this on my shirt. I can't mess up my little van. Thank you for sprinkling. I have all the materials for this. Can't wait to see how this turns out. I can't wait to see how it turns out either. Because like I said, I've been procrastinating about it. Because um, I was kind of nervous. But see, it's already dripping. So <laughs> I'm making a mess. So put some paper towels under there. But um, yeah, I've been. it's been sitting to the side. And I've been... Um, oh, thank you. Is it Dooney? Thank you. You're so sweet. Um, so I've been procrastinating on this one because I'm not really sure how it's going to turn out, but we're going to see. <laughs> so it may be a fail. I hope not. I don't think it's going to fail, but you know, we've all had fails before, so we're going to see. It's been raining a little here today. Bought some crafting stuff for my birthday. Oh, good, Becky. I'm glad you're going to start crafting again. But see, I'm just kind of painting them on, and it is kind of dripping, but it's okay. I got my paper towels, and it's just water and that craft paint. You can use apple barrel. You can use anything. I think most of them have that burnt umber brown. So, um, that's kind of a, what size frame? Um, I don't know. I can measure. I'll measure it in just a second, and I'll tell you. But it's just the little boxes that come from um, Dollar Tree like this. They usually make them for all seasons. I actually got this one at Goodwill for like 50 cents. So I pick them up when I see them. But I know that they have these right now because I've gotten these recently. And they have that little pop-up thing in the middle and you can take that out. But they have these that just have the that on the back. So you can use those. Um, but I picked up some at St. Patrick's Day because I knew I would end up painting them. Uh, it is she crafting if you don't have failure sometimes? Yes, it's you're not crafting right if you don't fail. But um, sometimes it just doesn't turn out in you know how in your head you wanted it to look, and you know I mean if you don't try, then you've already failed. So um, we just got to get out there and do it. Um, I think I heard somebody say one time, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. So, if you don't do it, then you've already made a decision and you've already failed. So, just get out there and try it and see. And if it doesn't work, then you learn something and you move on. So, that's what I'm doing tonight. So, I'm hoping it doesn't fail in front of 150 people. <laughs> so, <laughs> but anyway, but we'll all be good if it does. So, I'm just going to kind of set that to the side. And I'm going to stick it in my styrofoam and pray that it stays up. Yes, it will. Yay! It did earlier, so 
Could you use the antiques wax? Yes, you probably could. Um, I don't have the Waverly antique wax. Um, cause every, like now I can't even find it, but, uh, I can't, I can't, um, even get, I, I can't get it now, but I, I have some other brand. I think it's Michael's Art Minds or something brand. And I've not really, um, see, I got a gap in those beads, but it'll be okay. Maybe. It'll be all right. See, I left a gap in that one right there, and I shouldn't have, but I probably can't get it loose. Hey, Susanna. All right. So, try not to leave a gap like I did on that one, but it'll be okay. I can always fix it later. Maybe. <laughs> can't find the wax. See, I can't find either because I can't find any of the, hardly any of the Waverly paints. I think they're just now starting to um, get it back out again, restock or whatever, but I wish they sold it other places besides Walmart. It, that's the only place I can find the Waverly. So I'm just painting my beads with my muddy water, as I call it. So that's what I'm doing. Just be sure to get all the little spots. And I am going to have to go over this twice. That's why I went ahead and did two ahead of time. What are the other watermelons made from? Um, the back here? Those egg ones or the jar? There's a jar back there that I did on a live. Because like I said, I'm going to do my tiered tray and watermelons. So, okay. I think I got that one. This is bugging me though. I need to fix this. I got to fix this one. Folk art. I use folk art. See, y'all, I'm going to make a mess in just a second. Order the wax online. Walmart, and it got pretty fast. Okay, I haven't ordered it online. I'm gonna make a huge mess here in just a second. Y'all get to see it live. I've tried folk art, it's not bad. I just like Waverly. It just goes on smoother to me, but you know, everybody has their preference. So you use what you like, and I'm trying to get this, this hot glue off because this gap is making me, hey Teresa, is making me crazy. I gotta fix it. They only have the folk art brand. Okay, well, I know Joann's has folk art brand. I think Hobby Lobby does too. I'm not sure about Michael's. Amazon. Yeah, everybody goes to Amazon. We get everything on Amazon, right? Melt the glue. I about got it off now. <laughs> so anyway, okay. All right, so I got it let go. So I'm just gonna um, glue it back. I can't stand that gap. It's driving me crazy. So I'm just going to put some more hot glue. So learn from my mistake and don't, um, I thought I unplugged it. And don't leave a gap. Yeah, Shannon, they're eggs. Let's see. See? Aren't they cute? Don't they look like watermelons and they're in a little crate? Um, I can get it to stay. They're in a little crate back there. They look just like watermelons. And Colin cut one of them in half and um, made them look like watermelons. So, paint that one again because I rubbed all the paint off of it. Okay. So, I'm going to stand that up and let it dry too. I know y'all can't see it, but I got like the leaning tower of Pisa going on. See? I just stuck them in my little styrofoam and they're over here drip drying and, and my fan's blowing on them. I wish I could shop on Amazon. You can't shop on Amazon, Becky, or you not? Where are you? Okay, so now, this is the part that I'm nervous about because I don't know how this is actually going to take, but um, I actually think I'm gonna just use the paint and not use the water because I'm scared the water's gonna reactivate that chalk paint and it's gonna come up. So we are going to, I got a hot mess going on here. But I do have to do one thing before I start. I gotta paint this one white, y'all. I forgot. I got, a, I got too much stuff on my table. I could have a table as big as this room and I don't think it'd be. Um, no, it wasn't wooden. It's the little, it's styrofoam eggs from Hobby Lobby. 
Well, it was from Hobby Lobby, but I bought it back at Easter. But they've had their um, their um, Easter stuff recently, like 90% off or something. But their Easter, I just re repurposed some Easter eggs that I didn't use at Easter, some little um, styrofoam eggs or something. I'm just painting this. And I'm not going to worry about the inside of this one because you're not going to see it. So I'm just going to paint the sides real fast, guys. Let it be drying. Styrofoam. Oh, you don't have control of your money. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Sometimes I don't. Wish, I wish I didn't have control of my money. <laughs> it's like, oh, I see that everything pretty and shiny. <laughs> I need to get that. All right. So I'm just painting, painting this one white real quick. It's the little one. They have these little boxes at. Um, this one came from Target Dollar Spot, but they have them at. Um, um, Dollar Tree. What am I trying to say? So I'm just giving it a good coat so you can't see the words. But you can see through the first layer, but I'm not worried about it because we're going to paint it, paint over that. So let me set this to the side and let it dry. Hey, Terry. Okay, so I'm done with the white, hopefully. I got too much stuff. Alright. So now... This is the part I'm nervous about. <laughs> if I didn't tell y'all that, I'm nervous about it because I don't know how it's going to look. Because I don't want to put the water on my chalk paint because then it's going to make it, um, thank you for sprinkling, it's going to make it wet again, which the paint's going to be wet too. But um, I'm just going to go back with that burn umber color and I'm just going to paint over the white. And the purpose of the white was so you can't see what was on the front because some of them are st patrick's they're green they're um so i'm just painting over that white um so i wanted to cover up that that green and red and stuff hey cynthia glad you caught me too all right so i'm just painting over my white the white's just kind of like a i guess like a primer maybe is what i would say so this is the part that I'm nervous about because I don't know what this is going to look like because I've not done this before. Yes, Betty, that's what it means. I just can't say that word. Um, Facebook doesn't like you to say that. So um, that's what that means. So one thing I've noticed is once you go over it, don't go back over it again very much because I don't want to pull up that white chalk paint because it kind of does make it a little wet. But if this doesn't look all pretty, we can just sand over it and make it look a little distressed is what I'm hoping. But you could paint it any color you wanted. I kind of was torn between doing a little gray and doing, um, doing gray or doing brown. So I'm gonna do the brown. That's what I decided I would do. Thank you for sprinkling the love. I hope y'all are doing good tonight. I was ready all day to come on here live with you guys and chat. Cause I like to talk and craft at the same time. You're okay, Cheryl. You're not too late. You hadn't missed much. But you can go back and watch the replay. Look at my long brush. Y'all like that big long brush. I don't lose that one. Be okay if you fail. You like the shirt? I do too. It came from the Vanity Fair outlet. It's got Wrangler on it. But I didn't really care because I like the truck. The little van or whatever it is. So I had to have it. I think Colin was with me that day and he was like, Mom, are we going to stand in that line just to get that shirt? I said, yes, we sure are. <laughs> finally caught you live what are you making i'm making a lantern because the other night i did a lantern live uh, it's up here i kind of changed everything around and um everybody's having a hard time finding the lantern so i decided that we are going to do this craft live because i've had it sitting to the side and I haven't done it. I've been procrastinating on this one because, like I said, I didn't really have it all figured out in my mind of how it was going to go, but here I am doing it. <laughs> so, his day was good. 
Thank you for asking. Y'all are so sweet to ask. Um, he had his first first day on the job, adult job, after college job. So he's he's doing good. Don't forget all the girls who talk too much on their report cards. That's right. All the girls who talk too much on their report card turn out to be powerful women. That was me. I've been told my whole life I talk too much. <laughs> I talk too much. But if I was quiet, y'all would just be like, um, okay, she's boring. Vanity Fair outlet and Tupelo. Well, you'll have to, this is in the men's section, actually. So, so Bobby, you have to go check it out and see if they have it in the men's section. And y'all, it was the only one left. And I actually took it off the little display they had because it was the only one they had and it happened to be the size I needed. And, and Colin was just appalled because I took it off the little display. And so when we got to the counter, I asked the lady, I said, it's okay that I took this off the display, isn't it? And she was like, oh yeah, it's fine. I said, see, Colin, it's okay. I took it off the display. They're gonna sell that one too. So he was just like, mom, you can't take that off there. I'm like, yes, I can, watch me. And they sold it to me. But it, but um, it was, I mean, it was only like $5, and it's so stinking cute. It's a van instead of a truck. And I was like, i got to have that shirt. So, so yeah, y'all check out the men's department. They got better t-shirts than, than the women sometimes. But, and at Walmart, too, they got cute men's t-shirts. All right, so I got one more side on this one. I hope this is going to turn out better than it looks right now. <laughs> All right, so in case you're wondering, this is just the burnt umber color. But while I'm waiting, I'm gonna go back over my beads again, because see, they're kind of light. And these are the ones I've done twice. So I did those ahead of time. And then these are the ones, see how to see the difference? That's one coat versus two coats. So I'm gonna do a second coat on these. One of the, oop, and there went my other ones. I take stuff off the display all the time. That's right. They're going to sell that one too. He was like, Mom. <laughs> I was like, Colin, it's fine. But yeah, he had a great day. He's he's at the the true adulthood stage, or we called it, me and Paige and him called it, I called it uh, the tier two of adulthood, where you are, um, you are working and you're paying the bills. So... He's over there, but he's, he's closer to me, so I'm excited about that, but yeah. So I'm just going over my beads again with this time, you know, with the water and the paint, so it's all good. We're going to let them dry, but see how easy they are to paint when they're all stuck together like that? When you have to do them individual, it makes it a little more difficult. Now I've got to try to get it back in my styrofoam gonna be a miracle if I don't get this on my shirt y'all what size are the beads they're 20 they're 20 millimeters um, that's the size I normally use for pretty much everything I do um, that's right Linda it's all for sale so I get them off Amazon I can post the link for y'all after I get off I buy them two three hundred at a time because like I said I use them quite a bit and um, that's just my go-to size. Yeah, I gave Colin a valuable lesson about shopping. I think he was just more embarrassed of me doing it than actually, I don't know. So I, I asked the lady, I was like, I can have that shirt too, right? And she was like, yeah, sure can. <laughs> oh, goodness. He's so funny. You know, you can't embarrass your kids. They, they, they was like, no. Okay. So I just went over it again. Second time's a lot easier. I gotta get them in my styrofoam over here. I know y'all can't see, but they're sitting in front of my little, I have a little desk fan that kind of dries while I'm doing other stuff. If y'all don't have one, it's wonderful. It's a little, let me show it to you. It's just a little desk fan like this. And then I just set stuff in front of it and let it blow on it and it lets it dry while you're doing other things. Not today, Satan. 
Y'all need Jesus. <laughs> That's funny. I finally got the half beads. Yay, Joanne. You're going to love those. The ones I did on that lantern up there. Um, but everybody can't find the... They can't find the lanterns. So, I'm making one. <laughs> Show y'all a different... Um, and you can put the half beads on this one, too. So, my whole point of this is, is I'm hoping this is going to kind of look like a little wood, maybe. I don't know. But the beads look so pretty stained. So, like I said, this may look ugly as I'll get out, but we're going to try. <laughs> they look bigger. About 800 from Amazon a while back. I want to order the half beads. Yes, I like the, they're called split balls. Because they don't have a hole. But um, I do like those too. And I have three sizes in those. But I like those too. I put them on a, there's a, that lantern. And then I had, a, I put them on a sign a while back in the spring. I put them on a, around the edge of a round sign. Hey Mary. How are you? Her truck sign I painted her. Oh, cute. Yeah, I know you sent me a picture and showed me what it looked like, um, Melissa. So that's, um, I'm glad she liked it. I want to take one of those wood trucks and put some of the Buffalo uh, check scrapbook paper on it. I think that would be so cute. I just haven't had a chance. Let's see. All right, so my little one's painted. They're all brown. <laughs> Everything's brown. Look at three dollar generals and they don't have the lantern. See, Tammy, that's what I was afraid of because um, I had a couple of y'all that messaged me and said, I can't find the lantern, I can't find the lantern. And um, so I'm kind of like, well, let's make one. Because I've had, like I said, I've had all this set to this side because I knew I was going to do this. I just didn't know when. And I've been procrastinating because I was scared um, to, um, to do it. Let's see. Um, I want to say that these are the big ones are the tw are 25 and then these are 20. And then I have the next size I think that are 15. So if y'all didn't see that, y'all have to go check that live. This this uh, lantern came like this um, Dollar General and then I added a little white distressing and then I glued these um, they're called split balls because they're just half and they're flat on the back. And then I took this little cup and added some to it, and we made it into a little planner. It's like a little cup from the Dollar Tree, like a little punch cup in the little clear plastic section. Y'all see my gap in the back. But anyway, so that's what I did to that lantern. And then we put little balls on it for the feet, because it didn't have feet. Get back up there. So anyway, I got the red truck at DG yesterday. Was it happy? $15? Oh my gosh. Was it like the blue one that I have? I've hunted far and wide of everywhere I've been trying to find that truck. Uh, again, the blue truck, the little turquoise one. Because I wanted to give one away to y'all and I cannot find another one. I just looked up on that one. All right. So that's all done. Gotta do the inside. So anyway. See, y'all know, y'all know why I prepped this ahead of time, because this is a lot of painting. So now we're going to do the inside. What is the candlestick tray that your watermelon is made out of? That is clothespins. Um, I'll show it to you in a minute. Called procrastinating. That's it. That's what it is, procrastinating. Um, it's a little, uh, little tiered little thing that I made out of clothespins. I glued... I took clothespins apart, Charisse, and I glued them together into a, like a circle, and then I glued them on top of that Dollar Tree uh, candlestick and made like a little riser. Y'all, this better look good. I'm going to be upset. I forgot about the inside. <laughs> I don't know about this brown. I kind of think I should have went with gray. Do you use the all 20 beads? I use the 20 ml, mm beads. Yeah, the 20 millimeter beads. I use that on my on my beaded garland. 
I do. That's the ones I, that's my favorite size to use. Um, you could use whatever size that you feel comfortable using. I don't know if I like this, guys. But I'm going with it. Like I said, it may be, be an epic fail, but y'all just know what not to do. <laughs> but like I said, I painted it white first because uh, it wouldn't cover what was on the actual sign. I did, a, yeah, I did a live on that little clothespin tray. It's been a while back. It's been back in the spring, I think. In the very beginning when I first started. Because I started doing this in February. And. All right, now that's got to dry. I'm not worried about the inside of that one. Because that one we're going to. We're going to do face down. And we're not going to worry about it. And. See how it's looking? I don't know if I like that or not. But we're going with it. Oh, you're sweet, Tammy. Well, I have fails, too, now. I don't think I've had an epic fail on here yet, but, you know, so I'm probably due one. <laughs> but it'll be okay. So I'm just painting the inside, too, because you are going to be able to see the inside of these. And then we're going to put it all together. I didn't know if you mixed your big size up. Sometimes I do, Nancy, I'll use, like, a smaller like a 15 millimeter and kind of go big, little, big, little, big, little or something like that. Um, but the 20 is mostly what I use. Um, just on any big garland I just do when I use one size. Keep going, it's looking great. Go over with a little white, yeah. So I'm figuring I maybe can fix it with some white or I can sand it and make it look a little rough or something. But we're gonna, we're gonna figure it out. That's what my husband says, we'll figure it out. So, we're figuring it out. Right now, it looks like poo-poo brown. <laughs> now, that's all y'all are going to be able to see. I've done ruined it. I ru ruined it for you. Gosh, I cannot talk. I ruined it for you now by saying that. It's like UPS brown. <laughs> Sand it a little bit after the paint dries. Yes, that's, that's what I'm in my mind. I'm thinking, or either I'm gonna distress it with something black or something. We'll fix it. You know, some it's like kind of like painting a canvas. I don't know if any of y'all paint canvases or do stuff like that, but you know, you get to that point when you're painting a canvas that you're at the ugly stage. This is the ugly stage of this project. <laughs> a little distressing goes a long way, yes. Well, thanks, Dana. I'm glad y'all have confidence in me that this is going to look good. Right now, it's just brown. <laughs> but it's a lot of painting. I'm sorry. But, yeah, I did do a good bit of prep work before. So, it would have been longer if I would have started from scratch. See how it looks? But, we're going to... We're gonna do it up. Okay. So I'm just gonna turn it on its side and I'm gonna let it dry or something. Okay. I gotta get all this off my hands. <laughs> and normally I don't paint in my rings, but here I am painting in my rings. I normally don't do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just brush over these little beads again over here. Y'all see them? Let me get them right here. I'm just gonna go over them a little more because some reason, where's my water? some reason, these over here on the table look a little darker, and I don't want them to look all different. So I'm just going to kind of brush up and down and hit them a good good time. Keep reaching over there, and my water's over here. I don't know if maybe I had a little more paint in there when I did these, or, or what. So I'm just kind of hitting them again. They'll dry really quick. So, okay. Set them in front of my little fan. Everything's in front of the fan. And I got to get a baby wipe and get all this off my fingers. This actually looks like wood grain. I was hoping it was going to look like wood grain, but um, I just didn't want to go white or, you know. It's still going to match my home decor. Hey, Kathy. 
So I got pain all over me. So baby wipes are awesome if y'all don't use baby wipes. They're wonderful. For get and they get chalk paint off your fingers so well, but this acrylic paint it's not doing as good. Okay. Alright. Hey Leslie. Alright, I'm gonna put my paint over out of the way. But I was gonna show y'all something. If y'all didn't see my post from yesterday, I gotta show y'all this because I'm just blown away. Y'all see this little map? Did y'all see this on my picture yesterday? And I actually scratched off South Dakota because I've I, somebody reminded me I've done South Dakota. But I've sold, I've shipped stuff to ever all of these states except for ten. Uh, let's see, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Washington D.C., New Mexico, Utah, Wyoming, North Dakota, Iowa, Alaska, and Hawaii. But I've, all those colored ones that you see, that's where I've shipped stuff to, and it just blew me away. Um, I saw this on a TikTok. Y'all know I like to watch TikTok. And where, like, sellers do that. So, I ordered a map off Amazon, and I just scratched off all the states. I went through all the orders that I've sent out. And um, I was just blown away. All the kids were watching. Everybody was watching me scratch off the states yesterday because it came. And, of course, I immediately got it out of the, the little, it came in a little tube. And I immediately got it out and laid it out. And I started scratching off, going through all the orders and scratching off all the states. And it, it was a lot of fun to do because um, I did them one at the time. And it was really awesome to see that I've shipped to that many states. It was unbelievable. Where did I get the map? On Amazon. If you'll just, and you can do it. Whoo, it's going to go off my table. Um, you could get it too, and you could put, um, like, scratch off where you visited. You could do that too. And it came with these little tacks too. But I just, I put it on a foam board. I just cut it. It was rolled up. It's just paper that I taped. To my phone board and I just taped it down and I scratched off all the ones those are the ones I've yet to scratch off all the gold ones see I got it's like just like you know the little lottery tickets or whatever you scratch off it's just like that you take a coin and you scratch 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 oh thank you Dana Montana is two blocks from North Dakota oh wow okay so I don't know what we're gonna do this we're gonna see so here's one that's dried I think I should sand it. Kind of thinking. See what's going to happen. The white's going to come through. I guess that's okay. I just got my little sanding block. I don't know. That kind of don't look bad. Kind of looks old and almost, almost leathery like. Kind of looks kind of neat, don't it? We're gonna see. You love the scratch off ones. So I'm just, if y'all don't buy these, they're awesome at the Dollar Tree. Awesome, awesome. So if you've ordered something from me, I have sanded it by hand. I've ran this, a sanding block over it myself. So I love these things. Um, so I'm just kind of, we're just, we're just winging it because I really don't, really don't know how this is going to look, but we're doing it. But it almost looks like leather. Kind of looks worn and leathery, but the white's coming through, so I'm okay with that. Happy accident, that's right. Yes, I love the distress look too. That's all about, that's what I'm all about. But one, one of these is going to be the bottom, so we're really not going to see it, so it's going to be fine. This is probably gonna be the bottom because it's got that little place where the heart was stuck on it. But I am gonna do the sides. So. Yeah, I like this look too. Where did you get the map? Uh, Amazon, just type in um, scratch off uh, USA map or something like that. But, um, but you can do it and do like the places that you visited. Yeah, I use them a lot too. Um, the places that you visited in the U.S. or something like that, you could do that, that you went on vacation or what have you. Um, but I saw a bunch of people on TikTok and they were doing it to, um, 
they were doing it for their sales. And so I ordered, of course, I had to order one and because I thought that was the coolest thing ever to actually see it on a visual to where everywhere that I have actually shipped something to. And I was just blown away. Okay, so I'm not going to do as much on the inside because I really can't. Well, I guess I can. Because more than likely I'm going to set a plan or a little something inside of their candle. It's making weird noises. See, that's going to be the bottom because it's got that thing. I mean, it could be the top. It doesn't matter. Okay. Y'all, you know when I sanded those little jars that I did up there the other night, the bottles I did, and I sanded all the paint off? Y'all, I had dust. I had chalk paint dust all over this table. <laughs> it was like, I would just wipe my hand, and I had dust on it. It was just everywhere. So I had to wipe this whole table down, and it was just crazy. Okay. I'm gonna do a little more, because that's going to be our top. So that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Okay. See if my beads are dry. They are for the most part. I'm going to turn them upside down because they kind of want to drain a little bit. But I'm going to work on the top, I think, first. Okay, so this is going to be our bottom. And this is going to be our top. Oh, I got to sand this little guy. This is going to be the, the little top piece that kind of gives it a little, little tiered look like a lantern. So we're gonna do that. I'm kinda liking this look. And I honestly was worried. <laughs> okay. I don't worry a lot about stuff that's gonna turn out, but I was worried about this. So there's that one. It just kinda looks old and worn. My white's coming through. I'll paint it with white chalk paint. So let me see. Okay. So this is going to be my top. Now this is going to be the fun part because I kind of got to get it centered on the top. Oh, Vanity Fair Outlet Store. Yes. It has Wrangler on it. I didn't care. I like the van. I thought it was cute. Okay. So, and usually I wear an apron so y'all don't get to see that. So, um, so let me show y'all a little trick. This is what I do. When I try to find the center, of course, I'm an eyeballer. Um, I'm trying to find the center and when I get it to where I think the center is I'll take a usually have a pencil but uh, my pencil's not in here um, I just take a marker or a or something and I'm gonna put a little a little line right there so I'll know exactly where to put it back does that make sense so you'll never see that little line and I'll know exactly where it goes. So I'm just going to put some glue. Try not to get it real close to the edge because I don't want it to squeeze out of the sides. And if you're new here and you're just finding me on your feed somehow, y'all can hit that little notification thing at the top and it'll notify you when I go live and you can follow my page. I would love to have you here. So see, I just put it right back on my little guidelines I drew and you can't even see the lines. So that kind of helps you to get it centered and whatever. Yeah, Vanity Fair outlet. I, we have a Tanger outlet mall that's real close to my house. And I just went in there and I found it. I bought the very last one and <laughs> I took it off the display and everything. So um, it was only like, I don't know, it's like $5 or something. It wasn't much. But anyway. Okay, so there's that. So that's going to be the top. And this is going to be the bottom. So see, the, so when you buy these at Dollar Tree, make sure you get them that are the exact same size, okay? Like these. I know they have these right now. You could do this with these. But whatever you buy to do this with make sure they're the same size doesn't matter about color you can fix that later just make sure they're the same size so when you stack them they're going to be you know like this is one i got at goodwill and it was 99 cents there's the sticker so same price pretty much but just make sure whatever you buy 
they're usually the same size, but Dollar Tree only puts like different sizes of these out, but that's a tip. So don't just pick up two and think, okay, I'm good. And you get home and one smaller and bigger. Just make sure they're the same size. Okay. So there's our top and bottom. Now this is going to be the fun part. <laughs> so here is our skewer with our beads. If you missed how I did this, I just put hot glue on the bamboo skewers that from Dollar Tree, these right here. Okay. Um, I use those a lot too when I paint my beads. I put a dot of hot glue and a dot of hot glue and got them all tight. I kind of water stained them with paint a little bit. So now it's the fun part. I got to, I'm just going to take the corner down here and I'm just going to put a boatload of hot glue and hope and pray that this stays. <laughs> So I'm just going to sit here. I'm going to make sure it's straight where I want it. And maybe squirt some more. And hope and pray that it stays where I want to put it. And this is going to be the, the drying part. Let's see. So if we do the bottle, sand outside. Yeah, you probably would because like I said, I had that dust all over everything on my table. <laughs> I was wiping off, it was like blue dust and green dust and because you know I sanded the heck out of those things. Thank you for sprinkling. Oh and I gotta tell y'all, I was gonna give away those little shapes that I did on this sign over here. That sign, the little shapes. I got them written down over there and I gotta get it. Thank y'all for sprinkling. So I'm just sitting here waiting for this to set up, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to hold it straight up and down so it'll all be straight. I appreciate y'all watching tonight and coming on with me. I was looking forward to it all day today. This is taking forever. Just gonna take my little fan here and speed up the process maybe. Oop, I don't turn it off. Blow my little fan on it. Thank you for sprinkling, Kathy. This Gorilla Glue seems like it takes longer to set up. I don't know, but I love it. It's, it, it holds everything. I love it. I switched to the, to the Gorilla Glue sticks and I just sing their praises because it, it holds. As I joke, it holds on, put the buffer back on your car. Hey, Ginger from Illinois. But yeah, if you're new, you can hit, um, the follow button, you can hit uh, the top of the screen, the little dots, and it says turn on notifications when she goes live. Y'all, this is not setting up. What is the deal? Okay, you can, um, Celine from Ireland, yes, you can watch the replay tomorrow. So, y'all, this is not wanting to set up, so it's taking forever. But I gotta put some more, unfortunately. Maybe if I set it down, it'll... We're watching glue dry now. <gasps> if I keep moving around, it's not, is it? Yeah, have a good night, Celine. Get you some sleep. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning over there. Thank you, Melinda, for sprinkling. Let's see. Maybe it's going to... Nope. I'm scared to let it go. Cut the stick off at the last bead. I know, but that's what I'm gluing down in there. So I'm hoping maybe if I put, look, it's staying. Just don't breathe too hard. It's going to fall. Okay. So now we're going to go to the second one and do the same thing. But I need to lay it down. Let's do this. sorry <laughs> yeah Kathy that stick is what I'm actually gluing to the corner so I'm trying to get it to stay and give it a little support because I'm scared when I get see that one's gonna stay I don't know what the deal was that one's staying so we're all good so now we're gonna go on to the next put some where the bead sits yeah I'm gonna try to put some under on the bottom of this bead maybe that'll help 
See, y'all are helping me. I gotta get another glue stick, though. So, y'all, I show y'all this trick all the time. Just put a little dot on your new glue stick, and your glue, yeah, the glue stick, and then just slide it in there and butt it up to the next one. Maybe I should have put it on the stick and then stuck it to the corner. Maybe that was what the difference was. I got glue dripping and glue going everywhere. I need to put my profile back on the new one so I don't have to lower the video. Yeah, if you can't see what I'm doing because of the comments, you can swipe the screen and then you can see what I'm doing. Still in awe of how you thought, especially since you can't find the lanterns. I don't know. Stuff just comes to me sometimes. I think, oh, that's cool. Or I'll see something in a store. And I'm like, hmm, I could do that. Okay. That one's staying. So we're good. That one, first one just didn't want to do. So y'all can learn from my mistakes. So yeah, I think I should put some glue in the corner, maybe let it run down in the corner. There it goes. And then put some on here too, and on the bead. So when you do this, put it in the corner, put it on the stick, and put some on the bead. <laughs> Cover all the bases. So here we go. And I've got glue strings for days. Looks like spider webs, like I'm ready for Halloween. Get that one in there. So I'm trying to make sure they all stay straight. Oh, Susan, thank you. I just hope it turns out pretty. Sometimes, Dana, I do. I'll take pictures of stuff. And um, are all the beads the same size? Yes, they are. They're 20 millimeters, and I get them on Amazon. And I can post the link when I show y'all the actual finished product. But I get them in bags. I usually buy them like 200 or... Y'all, I just like to have spilt this all over me I'm telling y'all i'll make a mess but i um but i buy them off of amazon like 200 300 at a time yes they're 20 millimeters that's that's just my go-to size okay now they're all on there Woo! i'm scared to move it okay so now we got to do the other side i'm scared to flip it because that's not totally dry that's dry that's dry, and that's dry. Let me give that one just another minute. See, I almost did it gray, but it would look pretty any color y'all did this. You could do it the colors up there, those uh, bottles I did. Y'all could do the blue and the green. Y'all could do those. That would be so pretty like this. Okay, but I'm just bead fanatic. I have the bead garland and everything everywhere. I just love it. All right, here we go. All right, now, I'm scared. Let me see if that one's set up. Okay. So this one's gonna be a little more difficult. Ta-da! And pull some strings off. Jeez. Everywhere. Now this is where it's gonna be fun. The challenging part, dun dun dun. Is trying to get them all in the corners. All right, I think I'm ready. I'm going for it, guys. Oh, I'm nervous though. I'm just gonna put a big gob in the corner. And just let it run down in the corner, I think. And then I'm just going to have to hold them all there and hope that it's gonna be level. Looking level. Okay. <laughs> Are y'all holding your breath like I am? And I'm just gonna put some more in there, hopefully. And hope that it's gonna stay. Yeah, I drive my kids crazy, too, because I'll go in a store, and they're like, why do you want to go in there? And I'm like, because I'm looking at stuff. I get ideas from different things, or Kirkland's, or wherever. 
I get ideas for stuff and I'll, I'll take a picture of it. I'm not ashamed. I'll take a picture of something and be like, yeah, I got that. I can do that. Are the beads expensive? Um, Kathy, they're like, like 200 is like 12 or $12 or so. They're not bad at all. Not for as many as you get. Yeah, 200 for like 12 99 Ooh, Cheryl, I can get them cheaper than $18 for sure. You reached out to hold it for me. Thank you, Ginger. <laughs> I feel like I'm an architect here or something. I'm making something like a bridge or something. I gotta hold it. I turned it over, yes. I turned it over. Till a small hole for them to sit in might be easier from... Oh, hey, from Canada, Sandra. Welcome. Okay. We'll give it a little time. But yeah, twelve ninety nine for two hundred. Um, some you can find more packs that have more actually than that. Um Hey Janet. Okay, now this is gonna be the fun part. It stayed. It stayed, it stayed. Okay, now I've got strings. Looks like Halloween. Look how cute it is. I'm so excited it stayed. Look at it. It looks so cute. Look at it. I'm so proud. I'm proud it turned out. I'm proud it wasn't a fail. But now it is. You see how it's kind of like that. So, but it's going to sit on a table and it's, nobody's going to be touching it. So, <laughs> what size are the beads? They're 20 millimeters. And are they the same ones that I made the watermelon beads? Yes. Because that's, that's normally all I use. I have some smaller ones, but the 20 are the exact, you know, they're the, the my favorite size. Let me grab those watermelon beads and I'll show them to you. Hold on, I'm coming back. Don't go. Don't leave. Here I come. Here I come, here I come, here I come. Let's see. See? That's the watermelon ones I did the other night. Um that I painted, and I don't think y'all actually saw the finished. I haven't tied anything on the end. But see, they're the exact same size. But now, I get these, now, because I know y'all are about to ask me where these come from. These come from Etsy, and they are plastic. Buffalo check beads. So, if you go to Etsy, and you type in, they're bubblegum beads, is what they're called. Um, Buffalo check, bubblegum beads. I, I don't know. I guess they make those kids' necklaces or something. Um, they, uh, they'll come up, and you can get, like, 10 for, like, I don't know, $3 and something. See how stinking cute that is? With the buffalo check. I think it's so cute to go with my watermelon stuff. Oh, you'll have to go back, Kathy. That's the one where I made the little styrofoam watermelons over here. But yeah, Buffalo Check bubblegum beads, and they're 20 millimeter, just like these. Just like those are. And see, they're the same size. But that Buffalo Check is so cute. They have black and red, and they have the white and all that too, so you can get them. Yes, they're so thick and cute. Okay, so now, do I need to add feet and leave the feet normal? I mean, natural, like that? Can y'all see? Let me back it up so y'all can see. I like my, my lanterns to have feet. But I think I'm going to do this. Woo! Did I scare y'all? So I'm going to put, these are big beads. And I think these came from Hobby Lobby. They got a big hole. Um, so I'm hoping that I can get them to stay. I'm living on the edge now. I'm trying to push in the limit to get them to stay. Hey, Mary Beth. Let's see. I'm just kind of setting them on there. No feet, Paige? Oh, my goodness. I thought I have feet. It gives it that little something, something. Gives it that little extra touch, so. Putting feet on it. I like to put feet. Oh, thank you, Melissa. You're so sweet. 
Y'all are so sweet. I was worried this was going to be a fail. <laughs> That's why I've been, I've been procrastinating with this one for a while. But then when y'all couldn't find the lantern that I got from Dollar General, I was like, well, I guess I got to do this lantern. Oh, y'all are sweet. Yes, Kathy, definitely feed. It adds a little extra something something to it. Okay. I think they're on there. Look how sticking cute, guys, with the feet. Okay. But I think I'm going to add... I have these. They're just like little... Thanks for the hearts, guys. Um, this is like a knob. You know, the little... Just a little door pull. And I thought about adding it up there. What do y'all think about that? No? Yes or no? For that little... Kind of gives it a little finial. I had a finial, but it was like really, really big. And it didn't look good. It was too big. So leave that... Yes or no on that. Because I could hang some... You could totally do this. Not with a watermelon, but if I had that knob, I could totally hang that. Ah, and then my beads go, because I don't have anything on that end yet. You could totally hang some beads over it or something like that. So, knob, yes on the top. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let me see something. I got this little wood thing. Let me see. Maybe that'll make it a little taller. See, it's got to look a little, that's just a little round thing. I think I'm going to add that too. Everybody says yes. Okay. And this is going to be hard because I can't see. I'll tell you what. Let me glue them together first. These are just some little wood drawer pulls. I don't even know. I've had them forever. I don't even know where they came from. Something I've collected from wherever. So I'm just kind of gluing those two pieces together. This is just a little round. Like a, I don't know. I don't even know where I got those. Hobby Lobby, maybe? It's like a little round disc or something. I just have a little wood stash, and I just I just have a little bin. I have all my wood stuff, popsicle sticks, whatever, in. And I was digging through there trying to find something, and I came across these knobs, and then I said that thing. So I'm just going to glue that up there. So see, it matches the feet. So. All right. There it is. Look how cute. Let that set up before I start. See, it's it's kind of wobbly, but you know, those are just bamboo skewers. But nobody's going to be um, messing with it. It's just going to sit on my shelf or somewhere like that. Use your paint water on the knob. You think I should paint it? Or leave it like that because the feet are like that. See? It's so cute. Look at it. So, in case you didn't see the beginning, what I did is I used these boxes from the Dollar Tree. Make sure you get two of the same size. And then this is a smaller box they have. And then that's just a knob. And then all these beads on bamboo skewers or dowels. You could use dowels. And then I just put feet on the bottom. Maybe later add some craft sticks from the beads to like chip black. Yeah, you could do that. You could do the popsicle sticks. Leave it natural, leave it. Yeah, I think I should because the feet are natural. So I should leave that natural. See how cute that looks? It just gives it that little extra touch on the top, like a little thinner. I don't know what I'm going to put in it, Chris. I may put, um, let's see, something like this, kind of like what I did the other day. I struggled with that too, but I figured this would take forever. But if you did the same, you know, I have some more of these little cups. And I could totally do that. But isn't that cute? You know, and maybe not do it white, but do it some other color. And leave the beads natural on the cup, something. But that would be cute. Isn't that pretty? Turned out so pretty, I think. I'm proud of that, y'all. I put it off for so long. Muddy water for the feet in the top. Leave it cute as natural. Cute, cute, cute. I don't know. I'm going to have to look at it for a little while and decide what I'm going to do. <laughs> Isn't it cute, cute, cute? Okay. So, let me tell y'all. I went through all the people who shared the other night on that video, on Friday night's video when me and Colin were live. And I have these to give away because I was going to um, give away. And Terry, 
Mousselin, Mousselin, Terry Elliott Mousselin. I don't know if she's on. And Melissa Ganey. I had 36 shares, and I just picked somebody random, two people randomly. And that's who I'm going to send these to. So if you're on Terry Moose, Elliott Mooselin and Melissa Ganey, if you're on, then um, message my page, and I will get your address and send these to you. Really cute. Thank you. Thank y'all. Look how I'm so proud because I honestly thought this was going to be a fail. <laughs> but it looks so good. And it's really going to look good with this one. Because I love lanterns. I have a bunch by my fireplace. But see how good they're going to look together? Like if I got... Um, let me see. Somebody asked me about this, so I'm going to take it down and show it to you. My clothespin. This is my clothespin um, little riser thing I made. It's been since the spring. But I did that a while back, and it turned out so pretty. Um, so look how pretty if you had this one taller and this one. Let me back up so y'all can see. But if I had um, this one down here and this one up here, how pretty that would be together. Let me see. Yeah, where am I going? This way. See how pretty that is? And see the natural kind of the natural on this kind of pops off this. Looks really good, doesn't it? I think it looks so cute. But that's my little um, clothespin thing. I did that way back in the early when I first started. Those are just clothespins glued together and made a circle. And I glued them onto a actual wood circle. And then just glued it on the Dollar Tree candlestick. And there it is. And I use it for all kinds of stuff. Who did I find? You got home and you're like, hey, it's me. Flip my riser. This way? That way? I remembered that crap. Yes, Peggy, in the very beginning, when I first started, I did this. And I said it would look cute if you did different size clothespins and then put a whole grouping of them, like on the wall. It would look so cool. But yeah, I use this for all kinds of stuff. But anyway. Hey, Anthony. I don't know who Anthony is. Thanks, Deb. Oh, Bobby, you're so sweet. Flameless candle. Yes, that would look pretty, too, with those little flickering little electric battery candles. They're not round. They're regular clothespins, okay? And they're taken apart, and then the backs are glued together. So does that make sense? See, that's the pointy end. And then that's, they're just back to back, and I hot glue them together. That's why they look like that. So you just take off the, the metal part, just pop them apart, and then just glue the backs together. And then I just glued them in a circle. But I did it live, like I said, it's been way back, probably like March. Um, when I first started going live, and... Um, Pumpkins for the fall and the lanterns. Yes, I love me some lanterns. I got like, I don't know, three or four of them in my living room and stuff, and I love the lanterns. Oh, thank you, Carol. You're so sweet. But yeah, if y'all missed some of my earlier videos, go back and watch because there's lots of other, there's good, some good stuff in there. Um, but yeah, I did that way back in the very, very beginning. But anyway, but I'm going to hop off, guys. I don't even know how long I've been on here. But if I wouldn't have prepped everything, I'd have been on here way longer than that. So I appreciate y'all watching. Like I said, you can hit the follow button down there. And um, if, you ha if you're just hopping on and have never seen me before, you can hit the follow button or notify me when she goes live. Thank you, Carol. I appreciate it. It did turn out good, and I was really scared it wasn't. <laughs> so we did it together because y'all were, like, supporting me and holding everything for me. So I appreciate y'all very much and if it wasn't for you I wouldn't I wouldn't be here so I appreciate y'all y'all have a good night and I will see y'all Friday so and be looking because I'm gonna put some cute stuff in my shop and I'm just getting the last little things tweaked on it and I'm gonna get it all loaded up in my shop so be looking for that and y'all have a wonderful night and I appreciate you watching bye guys see you later be safe night